blood collection in laboratory animals. General principles of blood collection in laboratory animals include the method of collection should be described in the protocol approved by the Institute of Animal Ethics Committee. It should be least painful and stressful to animals. Adequate training is required for collection of blood by using any method in any of the animal species. In general, blood sample is withdrawn from venous, arterial blood vessels or heart chamber. Frequency of blood collection is important, such as once in two weeks is ideal for non-rodents. If the study needs multiple blood samples, legomorphs, for example, hair and rabbit can be used. All non-terminal blood collection is limited up to 5 to 10 percent of the total circulating blood volume in healthy adult animals on a single location. On an average, the total circulating blood volume is equal to 5 to 10 percent of the animal's body weight. Hence, blood collection volumes are 0.3 to 0.5 ml from a 15 to 30 gram mouse, 1 to 2 ml from a 300 gram rat, 3 to 4 ml from a 300 to 500 gram guinea pig, 20 ml from a 2 to 3 kg rabbit and collection may be repeated after 3 to 4 weeks. If blood collection volume exceeds more than 10% of the total blood volume, fluid replacement may be required. In case repeated blood samples are required at short intervals, a maximum of 0.6 ml per kg per day or 1% of the animal's total blood volume can be removed every 24 hours. Common blood collection sites in laboratory animals In rats and, uh, rat and mice, heart, tailwind or artery or orbital sinus. Guinea pig, heart and orbital sinus. In rabbit, marginal ear wind for small amount of blood. Orbital sinus and heart for large volume of blood. These techniques should be performed only on animals under anesthesia which are marked with a star. Blood collection from tail approximately 0.1 ml. Material required are 75% alcohol cotton ball for disinfection, rat or mouse restrainer, scissor, pipette and sterilized tips. Placing a mouse or rat on a cage lid and grasping the loose skin behind the ear by the thumb and forefinger. Push the rat or mouse into the restrainer. Leave the tail outside the cover. Amputate the tip of the tail by scissors and massage the tail and collect the blood. Blood collection from orbital sinus. Anesthesia is must before the collection. Can collect up to 0.3 to 0.5 ml in case of uh, mouse, 1 ml in case of rat and 1 to 2 ml in case of guinea pig. Materials required are 75% alcohol cotton ball for disinfection, general or local anesthetic, 27 gauze needle with 1 ml syringe and glass capillary tube that are heparin coated. Following are the medicines used for anesthesia which can be used to anesthetize the animal with appropriate concentrations are given. Anesthetize the mouse, rat or guinea pig by intraperitoneal route and in rabbit in intra by intramuscular route. Use a sharp and glass capillary tube to penetrate the orbital conjunctiva and rupture the orbital sinus. Collect blood in a vial. Blood collection by cardiac puncture. To collect large amount of up to 1 ml in case of mouse, 2 to 3 ml in case of rat or guinea pig and 20 ml in case of rabbit. It must be performed under general anesthetic. Materials required are 75% alcohol cotton ball disinfection, normal saline, anesthetic, 27 gauze needle with 1 ml syringe, 24 gauze needle with 3, 5 or 20 ml syringe for blood collection. 
anesthetized animal disinfectant thorax area with 75% alcohol search for maximum heart palpitation with your finger and insert a needle collection of blood from ear vein in rabbit a common location for small amount of blood volume use tranquilizer for nervous or small rabbit materials required are 75 percent alcohol cotton ball for disinfection 27 gauge needle with 1 ml syringe 24 gauge needle with 5 ml syringe 15 ml centrifuge tube for blood collection and a plastic clip and a cotton ball locate the ear vein insert needle into the ear vein with needle tip surface face up fix the position of the needle by your left thumb and withdraw blood from the ear vein Press the cotton ball on the top of the injection site before pull out of the needle and apply the clip on the top of the cotton ball for 2 to 3 minutes to stop further bleeding. Thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe my channel and hit the notification bell to remain updated with more such videos.